Hi, um, today I want to share with you um, a more hardware related issue um, because I think maybe the one or other of you uh, may run into a similar issue. Um, I will first explain the problem and then I show you the solution. Okay, so what you can see here when you go to my display settings is that something is messed up on my system. I have here a Dell um, Precision M3800 workstation, which um, on the hardware layer um, for the graphics look looks like this. It has two graphic cards and uh, currently here on my system there is an HDMI device applied and um, I can show you that, but the HDMI device um, won't display anything if I even if I go to duplicate or extend or something like that, it won't display anything. Um, so that happens to begin um, when the latest Windows 10 updates came into uh, place. Here on this system it has the creators update already and uh, together with those updates obviously there were updates on this device, the Intel HD Graphics 4600 and currently this runs on a version uh, of 2019-15-4624 and this version happens to be very buggy in terms of this uh, monitor support because what it does when you install it it gets those non-PNP monitors here into place and those monitors are very very uh, ugly. The crude thing about this, this only happens when you happen to have Hyper-V installed as, as I have the Hyper-V role is installed here on my machine and if I disable the Hyper-V completely this problem disappears. So what this means is Intel HD 4600 has problems um, together with Hyper-V on those machines. So what to do now? Um, the first approach was to uh, look in the BIOS. If you have a uh, BIOS just take a look at it. I updated the newest version and this says, hey, there should be some setting for not uh, uh, enabling switching of um, uh, graphic adapters. I don't have this options um, in my BIOS or I don't have it um, since I updated the BIOS. I don't know. So what to do now? After some investigation, I found out that there is a way around. Um, what you see here is the Intel support site in German, which says, um, okay, show me all the drivers available for the HD 4600. So you see here on this top the newest version which happens to be the one which I have installed. So just take a look. 20, uh, 90, so that doesn't make sense, but the 4624 here at the end is my version which I installed currently. So now there is another version, an, old, an older one, which is uh, the 25, uh, I guess, the 25, just let me take a look, I downloaded it already, my downloads folder, so it has to be 254463, so just take a look, 254463. Uh, this version is known to work together with Hyper-V, so when you go there, the four generation driver, it warns you that this uh, driver is out of date, obviously, and now you have uh, the you can choose between the X and the zip. Use the zip, download the zip, don't use the X, which will fail uh, in my system. So I've downloaded it, and you see here the folder which I had extracted already. So now, to bring this driver into place, the safest way I've detected is to right click on the driver, to search on the computer and now to hit this button here, the, the list of my local computer drivers. Then go to the um, search button and select the appropriate folder in the downloads folder which is the 25 version and there I go to graphics and then I choose open and OK and now he uh, we'll see that there are driver graphics for this and now let's see what happens in the system when I just install this driver. I do this this manual way because there's a setup X inside and it should work too but 
in many cases this fails. The setup exe will say, oh no, this is not valid for this computer or something like that. Um, now, I hope that you can see it. I just installed the driver. And now as you can see, here um, uh, is, just a second, here is the new driver and the, the non-PHP monitors just disappeared. And as you can see here, the, um, the display is okay now and I can tell you I see everything on my external display. So that was um, just a quick webcast to show you the solution to this problem. I hope it, uh, I hope it helped and um, yeah.